Hello, we're the Lumineers, and we are diving into the iHeartRadio box right now. All right. This is our first album. Very this cool. is my mom, and this is her mom actually walking out of the frame. It looks very ghostly. That's why we chose it. Love this photo. Yeah. yeah. I, have, I have the original in my house, but none of you know where very I live. Cool. <laughs> All right. Greeting you from Denver. Uh, Wes and I currently do live in Denver. We've been there about a decade now. We're from originally New Jersey, but this is now home, and it's uh, been so amazing to both of us um, in so many ways, both for our band and our lives. So we owe a lot to Denver. Uh, this is a pretty paper. This is I actually recorded this in Denver at my on my kitchen table, and you can hear my little one-year-old making a noise in the background, but. It was a demo and then we re-recorded it and it didn't sound as good as the demo on my little phone. So I think it's the only time we've ever mastered something yeah, it was that great. came off of an iPhone voice memo. Ooh, Ooh, so it's the, uh, my dog, Spaghetti, is about five years old wearing my Borsalino hat, maybe the same one, who knows. Um, got him at a good angle before he got up, probably. And uh, yeah, it's Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> The Hunger Games, we wrote um, a couple songs for their series. One of them, I'm trying to remember, a Gale song was yeah. what it was. And then the other one was this uh, hanging tree kind of melody that ended up, they ended up using throughout the movies. But we got to also play Saturday Night Live and she, Jennifer Lawrence was the host. So um, we got to meet her and she was amazing and really, really funny. Yeah, that was awesome. Ooh. All right, pair of suspenders. These are not the pair I wear. Um, they're similar though, very close. I like the suspenders with the three prong attack, two in the front, one in the back. And uh, yeah, I wear these every show. It's something I started a long time ago. I've never stopped. It helps me kind of get ready for the show. It's like my superhero costume, outfit, uniform. Sounds cool, the uniform. So yeah, suspenders. This is the U2. Joshua Tree Tour, we got asked to play this. I can't remember how many dates, it was probably a dozen. I think about a dozen, Yeah. so cool. Got to see one of our hero favorite bands ever. Every night I went to their set and, and watched what they did and got to meet them and even got to fly on their plane one time. One time, Yeah. first and last time. We didn't do anything <laughs> bad, we were, we were good guests, this was the first. But really, the only time. really amazing people um, for such a big band. They put so much love and they're just genuine people about what they do, even though Bono's sort of a caricature on South Park sometimes. It's uh, Yeah. He's a real guy, and he really does care. So we were pretty blown away by their show and by the, them as people. So this is, seems to be a beer. It says free oh, beer. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is kind of a joke that's um, run a little wild. It's um, We may or may not have had our first show in New York City advertised as free beer. Um, it's become a little bit of folklore or... Yeah, Tommy Thunder on a keg <laughs> instead of a drum. But drum we joked toilet. about free beer if people saw that in the flyer or like the, you know, the marquee or whatever, uh, people might actually be... They might riot though. I think we actually lied about that. It never happened, but we're telling you now. The myth we're lives on it. though, yeah. so free beer. pre -luminaires. Thanks, I heart. Next one is our brand new wow. album. And we're so excited. We just saw this the other day for the first time in the flesh. Um, but yeah, it's not. the family. Yeah, you should do the honor. Family one. portrait slides out. Gloria Jr. Jimmy on the back. Gloria. And then these uh, these are the other characters. There's Junior and here's Man. Jimmy. This you can actually put them in. If you put another one in, did you know this? You put another yeah, one in, it'll peek out. That. So cool. And each character will do that. So these must be the limited edition blue vinyl. Pretty snazzy. Nice. Turned out amazing. Very so cool. this has been done for about a year, so we've been working hard behind the scenes, and now it's finally out. So it's a joyous, joyous time. Yeah, so cool. Yeah, so the inspiration behind this was these these three characters, actually. So let's find this. It, it started, we thought the album art was going to be this. This idea of like a family portrait where um, we all have these in our houses. It's normally not really how you dress or how you pose naturally. or You're around your family, which you're often fighting with. There's a lot of absurdity to the ritual of a family picture together and then hanging in a house and we thought that was a really interesting place to start visually so the first video and the first song on the album Donna begins with a family portrait and then the last video Salt in the Sea sort of 
ends with a family portrait. So this was originally the artwork and then our friend Nick Bell, who's this amazing artist that, uh, visual artist that I went to school with, we both did in, in Ramsey, New Jersey. Um, we've, we've just worked together ever since, since day one. And so he, he came up with this idea of uh, putting it that the three and having them peek through. So credit to Sutton, Nicholas yeah, Sutton Bell. So cool. He's amazing. So the last item in the box is an iPad. Yeah. Oh, cool. So we just spoke on this, but this is the, the this is the first track off the album, and uh, it's talking about that same idea of your family portrait. Very cool. I love this video how it kind of sets the mood for the whole album. The whole story, the whole film about what's to happen. We're introduced with this family where you can just tell by the expressions that everything might not be as it seems as portrayed in this kind of classic. We were calling it the Sears American photo, kind of pre-Instagram, pre-Facebook, perfect idyllic photo that you'd hang on your mantle that was very far from probably the reality of your household. So Yeah, it was almost like the most interesting shots that the photographer yeah. could have taken were when the they didn't think the camera was on them and I feel like I always preferred candid shots of me and the people I care about and not these like but in this video it's kind of showing that they have this tension that's only being revealed when the flash bulbs aren't going and I think that's really common with a lot of us so yeah that was our first our first video of the series one of ten so it's a short film that uh, every every song on the album has a music video and it forms this bigger story so you should check it out that's what was in the box, and you can listen to our new album, Three, now on iHeartRadio. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from your favorite artist. And while you're here, check out these other videos.